Hey everyone, I just wanted to update everyone. I'm so thrilled. I know it's super simple, but I finally got my smell back. I lost my smell. I haven't been able to smell, I guess it's been around a month or so. And my daughter had told me about um, this video she saw on TikTok about taking this vitamin, the alpha lipoic acid. And um, she saw the videos talking about taking three a day, Coitalina, um, taking three a day. And um, my doctor had just recommended that I don't overdo it. Um, she, they didn't know if it would just be too strong for me. So they reduced it down to one a day. So it took a little longer. I think with three a day, I probably would have recovered um, quicker, but I had to take it slow. So I just did one a day. I've been doing that for about, mm, maybe two weeks. And um, so I started that and then also three times a day, I've been using this eucalyptus globulus essential oil. Um, I have tons of essential oils. And um, so this one, I thought I'd try, I'd heard that it helps. So I've been putting it there at the entrance of my nose um, three times a day. It's helped me to breathe, but it's also helped me regain my smell. So I was thrilled with that. Anyway, um, I've been doing okay. I started back to work. I worked on Tuesday and Wednesday. I only worked six hours each day and I did great. No problem. And then we had bad weather. It was like rainy and I already have arthritis. So the arthritis and inflammation from that when bad weather hits, you know, my joints just swell. But I already had the swelling from COVID, the inflammation from COVID. Also, I have a connective tissue disorder. And then the bad weather is just, it was like triple amount of inflammation in my body. I was in so much pain, I could hardly move. Called the doctor because I didn't want to end up back in the hospital. So they put me on a steroid, just like a low 10 milligram, uh, low dose of steroid. And so I've been taking that. That has helped tremendously. And so I'm starting to feel better. And um, they told me I needed to take off work until next week. So that's what I'm doing. I've been taking it easy, feeling better every day. And I've also been going to the chiropractor. And they told me that I did not need to overdo it, taking all these supplements and wanting to try acupuncture, chiropractic care. There was just way too many things that I was trying at once. So they said, focus on um, the supplements and chiropractic care and see how I feel. So I agreed to do that. And I did finally get an adjustment on my back. Oh my gosh, I had, my whole spine just popped and I was feeling really good, felt so much better. And uh, she said after four times of going, I should you know, start to recover. And then also taking the supplements. These are the ones I'm taking. I'm just taking this one once a day. And this one, I did a lot of reading on it online. And there, this helps a lot with inflammation. It helps with uh, helping to, I guess, prevent COVID. Or you can take it before COVID, after COVID, during COVID. Um, this other one, NAC, 600 milligrams, helps a lot as well. Um, you can take one a day, but when you're actually sick with COVID, you would take two a day. And um, they're all working together, and it's helping to reduce my inflammation a lot. So anyway, um, those are the things that I'm taking. I know people have been asking what was working for me. Also for my cough. Oh my gosh, I had a terrible cough. I could not stop coughing. And so I had made this homemade... Um, tea recipe and it helped so much to reduce my cough. It's almost gone now. Um, so I'll send that or I'll post that video of that recipe. Anyway, thanks guys for checking on me. I'm doing good. I'm looking better, feeling better every day. I'm having to rest a lot. I'm sleeping a lot. Um, I went shopping the other day and I was taking my time going through the grocery store and just got a few things and all of a sudden I couldn't breathe and I was in shock. I'm used to being on the farm, going, walking around the farm with no issue. And here I just barely got through the grocery store and I felt like I needed my inhaler. Kind of panicked. I didn't know what to do because it was at home. So I went ahead and left the store. And so yesterday I went back to the grocery store again and I had to use one of those carts. And fortunately, 
but I got, you know, the basic groceries that I needed and um, brought my inhaler with me in my pocket. So I don't know, my breathing, I hope it gets back to normal. I'm using a nebulizer and, um, you know, nasal sprays, supplements, inhalers. They said it will get better. It's just going to take a long time to heal. I'm also taking um, another supplement for um, breathing, and I've been using that for a while. Um, I think it's called like glut glutathion or something. I don't know. I'll post a, the name of it in the comments. I'll post like everything that I'm taking. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well, and I look forward to more updates with you guys. Love you. One more thing I forgot to mention. Um, I was reading an article in the New York Times, and it was explaining um, COVID and why some people get uh, really seriously ill and others do not. But it was explaining if you already have inflammation in your body prior to getting COVID, you're more likely to get extremely sick and have more complications. You're also more likely to get COVID. And so like my sister, she was around me and never got COVID. My mom was around me, never got COVID. And we were just all here together. So um, I was reading this article and it said, if you have diabetes, um, you're also more likely to get COVID as well. So anyway, it was um, interesting. I'll post some points from the article. It had some good points. Um, if you can control your inflammation, according to the article, if you can control the inflammation in your body before you get sick with COVID, you're more likely to recover with no problem. So like the rest of my family recovered with no issue. Anyway, 